Now America is involved in a war in the Ukraine against, well, America is involved in a war. So, you know, the, we're, we're working with NATO and there's all this stuff. Sure, we don't technically have boots on the ground. Although in 2014, there was a coup d'etat in the Ukraine that was, for all intents and purposes, fostered by the CIA and our intelligence agency. So that's sort of like a mild little quick background. Now there's this war in the Ukraine. And turns out there are bio labs in the Ukraine that are being funded by the American Department of Defense. And so what I'd like to do is I'm now going to play you a video that I believe came out yesterday. It's Tucker Carlson, and he's just sort of giving a little bit of a quick rundown on these actual bio labs. So initially people said, oh, that's a conspiracy theory. That's not true. But then um, the Under Secretary of State, I think, um, anyway, some lady did do a congressional hearing and she said, oh yeah, we do have bio labs there, uh, but fear not, you know, everything's above board. So here's just a brief clip and then we can talk further. Over this weekend, this show obtained a number of documents from a former high-ranking U.S. official that show the U.S. government through the Pentagon did in fact fund research into deadly pathogens in Ukraine. According to one of the documents, sometime between 2007 and 2008, quite some time ago, the Pentagon approved the development of a, quote, multi-pathogen mapping project to, among other things, quote, take molecular fingerprinting of pathogens endemic to Ukraine and strain transfer. 